What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a real quick review on a UTV cover, but this cover is meant to fit four seater side by sides. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's check it out. Okay, so here you go. So this is my personal 2020 Honda Talon 1000 X4. And some of you might be asking yourself, do I even need a UTV cover? Well, I'm going to try to give you a couple things to think about today. So first off, if you happen to keep your side-by-side -side in your garage, which sometimes I do, especially in the winter, I would keep it parked right over here. I would keep my quad in here, my motorcycle. And I usually try to keep it there in the winter when it's snowing outside, just to protect it a little bit better. But as many of you know, I'm always doing different projects for my YouTube channel. And sometimes I need to use this garage space for different reasons. So sometimes I just don't always have the space to keep my side-by-side -side in the garage at all times. But if you happen to keep your side-by-side -side in your garage at all times, that's fantastic. You could still benefit from a cover because even when it's in the garage, I can almost guarantee you that the wind is still blowing in rain, dust, dirt, leaves, and all kinds of debris in your garage. So having a cover on your side-by-side, -side, even in the garage, is still beneficial. Now, in my case, where I'm always doing different projects in my garage, sometimes I have to bring my side-by-side -side outside for days at a time or even weeks at a time, depending on what projects I have going on. So I tend to park my side-by-side -side in the back of my house in this location right here, because again, the house sort of protects it from always being seen from the road, but the house also protects it a little bit from inclement weather because it's covering that whole side of the side-by-side. -side. I also have an outlet over here, so I just have an extension cord going from the outlet, and I plug it into my custom charger here on the back. However, when it's raining or snowing or windy or whatever the case may be, I could definitely benefit by having a cover on my side-by-side -side when it's parked outside for longer periods of time. And that's why the cover I chose for my side-by-side -side is this Neverland cover for four-seater side-by-sides. Now, there are other brands out there, but one thing to pay attention to is not all companies have covers specific for four-seater side-by-sides. So this particular cover here is supposed to be a pretty heavy-duty material. It's going to have the elastic in the front and back to really help the cover grip underneath the side-by-side, -side, which is nice. It has a few reflective straps in the front and back, which is also nice. It has three adjustable buckle straps that could strap the bottom of the cover underneath the side-by-side -side to the other side, holding it in place in case it happens to be a windy day. It's not just going to lift up on you. It does have a couple vents on both sides, so in case air does get up under it, the air will actually escape out of the vent instead of creating a balloon and just lifting this whole cover right off the top of your side-by-side. -side. And then it's supposed to have a front mark on it so that you can always easily tell where the front of the cover is going to go when you're taking it on and off. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this Neverland UTV cover for a four-seater side-by-side. And it comes with this nice carrying pouch here for storage, which is really nice because when you're not using it, you can keep your cover inside the storage bag and you can even store this on your UTV in the trunk area or possibly under the seat. So let's go ahead and get this out. Okay, looks like it has a few more straps. There's a buckle, there's a buckle. All right. Okay, so there's your tag in the front. That right there is gonna be the front of the cover. So when you're putting it on your side-by-side, -side, there's the front there. Okay, so it looks like it already has the three buckles on the one side, and you just pop that out, and you're gonna tie your strap to that. And then it comes with your three straps that we'll have to mount here in a minute. And then it looks like it actually comes with two extra buckles. So that's a nice feature there in case one of these buckles happens to break. So let's go ahead and take this outside and put it on the side-by-side -side and see how it fits. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to start with the front because that's where it's labeled front. So let's go ahead and unravel it. Okay, now that we know where the front is. So again, right now I'm just trying to get it on the front first. Let's get it around the tires. Okay. And then, and then we can go ahead and drag it across the back.
these little reflective straps are going to go at each front corner. So that's always going to be a good way to figure out how to line it up. So far, so good. I was a little bit concerned whether it would fit or not because I have extended fender flares on my side-by-side, -side, but so far it's fitting pretty good. So let me head to the back. We'll shimmy it into place, and then we'll take a closer look after that. Okay, so the one side of your cover has a loop just like this. You're gonna take your strap and one side of the strap also has a loop. So what I would do is just take that loop through the other loop and then take the other side of your strap, feed it through the loop, pull it through, and then connect it like that. And then the other side of the strap, just go ahead and unmount this clip from the other side and then feed your strap through this clip, just like that. You come up from the bottom, down through the top, that way you can pull it tighter. So take that, and then we're just gonna throw it underneath. We're gonna come on the other side. Just like this. And right there is the other side of the strap we threw underneath. Connect it, just like that. And then pull your excess strap nice and tight. Just like that. And throw it underneath like that. So there you go. So now we got the center strap done. Now I just gotta do the same thing on the front strap and the rear strap. So let me go finish those last two straps the same way we did the center one, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're finally done. That is what the Neverland cover looks like when mounted on a four-seater Honda Talon. So again, I could probably do a little bit of shimmying to the cover, but as you can see, my front wheels are covered. The back wheel only has a couple inches exposed. But keep in mind, I have 15 inch rims on 32 inch tires. This cover will pretty much cover my entire side by side if I shimmy it into place a little bit better. So just to go over a couple features, this is supposed to be a tear resistant material. It does have four nice reflective straps here, one at each corner. It does have a couple nice vent pockets right here. The wind that actually comes up under the cover will actually be forced out of these little pockets here on both sides so that this cover doesn't just lift off your side by side like a big balloon. It has elastic on the front and back, so it allows that cover to kind of tuck up under your wheels a little bit better and really grip on, which is really nice. And it does have three adjustable wind resistant straps, one right about here, one in the middle, and one right about here. So the straps seem to be pretty nice. The kit did come with two extra buckles as extras in case maybe a buckle happens to break. That's always a really nice feature. So again, I'm really happy with it. So again, the fitment of this cover is actually surprisingly really nice. A lot of times universal covers like this don't exactly fit every side-by-side -side the same because every side-by-side -side is slightly different in terms of its shape, its height, its length, its width, and so forth. But for my four-seater Honda Talon, this Neverland cover does a really good job at covering the entire side-by-side, -side, which is really good for protecting it from inclement weather outside. So my overall impressions of the Neverland UTV cover, specifically for four-seater side-by-sides, I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and give it a go. I think the quality feels really good. The stitching throughout looks pretty good. It's large enough to cover the entire side-by-side -side completely. It has some reflective straps on the front and back. It has three wind-resistant strap buckles that straps underneath the side-by-side, -side, which will help hold this in place during windy days. And then it does have these vent pockets on it as well, like that. So when wind does get up underneath the cover, it'll force the wind out of those vent pockets instead of just lifting the entire cover off of your machine or possibly damaging your straps. But overall, I'm really happy with this cover. And I think it's really going to protect my side-by-side -side when I keep it parked outside like this. Okay, everybody, so there you go. We just went ahead and we installed the Neverland weather-resistant UTV cover on my four-seater 2020 Honda Talon 1000 X4. As you can see right behind me here, the cover does a fantastic job at covering the entire side-by-side, -side, even down to the tires, so that's really good. It's made from tear-resistant material. It has vent pockets on it to stop any wind that happens to come up under the cover from lifting your cover off your side-by-side. -side. That wind will actually escape through those vent pockets. 
It has a few reflective straps on the front and back. It has three wind resistant buckle straps that go underneath, holding the cover underneath your side by side for added protection and security of the cover. And it looks really good. So my overall impressions of the Neverland's cover, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up and give it a go. I think it's a good quality cover. The price is very reasonable and I'm really happy with this purchase overall. So if you happen to be looking for a quality UTV cover for your four seater side-by-side, -side, definitely check out the Neverland's weather resistant UTV cover for four seater side-by-sides because I think it's a good quality product and it comes in at a great value. So that's it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you happen to have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.